Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So uh, today we got a uh, kind of a special meatloaf, and um, I'm going to call it a sausage meatloaf. And um, what we got going is it's kind of a birthday special. And uh, a guy I met uh, a few months ago, his name is John Lotze, and he's down in Australia. And uh, it's his birthday on June 30th, and he's uh, 6,400 years old now, so he's getting up there. Um, and for those of you that don't know where Australia is, it's a little, it's a little west of New Zealand and it's a little north of uh, Tasmania. Um, it's also one of the few countries in the world that, uh, that uh, actually eats the animals on its coat of arms. So um, anyway, uh, um, I was contacted uh, kind of on the down low by uh, uh, John's wife, Jackie and uh, she arranged to uh, get John a copy of my book, uh, autographed by me. So John, uh, that's uh, what your birthday present is, so hopefully she's given it to you already. And um, um, so happy birthday and many more to come. And uh, so uh, John contacted me, uh, the story goes, uh, he built one of the little rod benders that, uh, that I designed. And, uh, and for those of you that are interested in that, uh, you can download the plans off of the blog site. Uh, they're on there, free for anybody. Uh, and we're going to look at that in a second. I'm going to show you what John's actually making with the, with the bender and, and what he uses it for, which is even more interesting. So uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get an apron on and uh, <clears throat> let's get an apron on and we'll go look at the bender and uh, see what John makes. and. Uh, or see what John made with the bender and, uh, and then what he makes with the thing that he made on the bender. So uh, let's go check it out. Okay, so uh, we're going to make a, make a couple of samples of uh, these, uh, um, these hooks that John makes. And uh, so I got some, uh, some steel rod here. Um, John used stainless steel for his, which is the right thing. Uh, it's about five millimeter rod, something like that. And uh, we're just going to nick off a couple of pieces here. And uh, you see I got the bolt cutters in the, uh, in the vise. You know, sometimes it's, you want to have the tool free, and other times it's uh, more efficient to have the tool clamped. And, uh, and then, and then uh, bring the, the work to the tool. And I'm just going to nick off a couple of pieces. These are... 150 millimeters long, something like that, and then we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on the bender here, and uh, we'll get a close-up shot of this. Okay, so here's the little rod bender, and like I said before, you can download the plans for this um, off of my blog site. Um, anyway, this is kind of where the story begins here. John sent me some pictures of, uh, of the rod bender that he made, and um, I was, you know, I looked at the rod bender. I go, oh, hey, real nice. But really what caught my attention was what the bender was attached to. Now here I got it clamped in the vise, but uh, what uh, he had it, he had it on a bracket mounted to one of the, the best and finest welding tables that are made today that you can buy. Um, and his is a, uh, uh, I can't remember the, the brand, but the, uh, the, the mother brand is uh, Bluco, which is a German company, and uh, I'll put a link up on the screen here. You can go check them out. But it's basically a machine uh, precision welding table. Anyway, that caught my attention, and uh, so uh, of course I commented on it, and uh, turns out that his wife Jackie bought him that table. So uh, uh, right on, Jackie. Way to go. Uh, that's a uh, that's a really nice gift. Um, anyway, so. Uh, um, that's, uh, that's, you know, part of the story. So, anyway, I just want to show a couple little accessories here that I've made for this. So, this is the, this is the pin that's in the, uh, that's in the plants here that fits in this. And this hole is oversized so that you can actually just change uh, and put whatever, you know, something else that you want in here. But this is the one I've been using the most. And uh, this is uh, three quarters of an inch in diameter. And... Um, um, I put a, I scribed a center line, or I milled a little center line on it, and uh, that allows me to have a, a reference mark here in relation to the center of that, okay? I've also added this little scale here, um, and what else? 
I got an idea also for um, um, a ring here that we can uh, we can set at zero so that we can track how many degrees of bend. Right now, I just kind of use Sharpie on it, which se seems to work fine. But uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and bend uh, a couple of these. Oh, the other thing is. Uh, um, I have some bushings that actually, so you can reposition this depending on what you're bending or you can put something that, that you don't want to rotate on here. Um, but the other thing I do is I put bushings on this too and that's what we're going to do in this case here. Um, and then I'm just going to use a little, a little square here to, to align with a, uh, where do we want to be there? Sure, why not, right? Yeah, it's kind of a deep hook. Let's do that. Let's go there. Okay. So I'm holding a little pressure on it here, and then I'm just going to bring this around. And for these, I'm just going to go to the limit of travel here. Okay. And then I'm just going to reverse, reverse the hook. You know, and I've showed this a few times before, um, but. Um, not in relation to uh, to what John's making, okay? So that's kind of what he made is a hook that looks like that, okay? Um, and once again, I can put a I can put a larger uh, a larger sweep on here, so I can push it a little bit farther here. That's kind of the limit of travel right there. So um, anyway, so that's what he's making. He's making these hooks, and what he uses these hooks for is John makes uh, custom sausage or special um, artisan sausages and salami. So he uses these hooks. Um, let's just go ahead and bend another one here real quick. Uh, so we got two of them. Okay. And you can see that, uh, you know, you could, you could make a lot of hooks pretty quick. And each salami needs a, needs a hook. So guess what? Okay, so there's the hooks. And uh, so I'm going to cut to a picture of John uh, uh, bending his hooks here. Okay, so there's, uh, you saw uh, his table and uh, his, uh, his setup for bending the hooks. And, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll cut to the, uh, the actual hooks. Okay, uh, you saw the hooks, and, uh, and then we will show what John does with his hooks. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, John is a man that likes his sausages. So uh, uh, anyway, those are some, uh, that's some wonderful looking stuff there, John, and uh, I wish I could sample some of that. Uh, John and Jackie also sent me a, a, a little viewer appreciation gift here uh, when he's not busy uh, playing with sausages. Um, uh, he does pottery, so uh, ceramics. So he sent me some coffee cups and I kind of kind of uh, showed that in the beginning of the video. So uh, it's, got, uh, it's got the uh, Ox Tools logo on it. And this one says Mr. Wizard. And uh, anyway, uh, they're kind of dinky. I guess uh, Australians, uh, they don't drink much, so uh, um, out of mugs anyway. So uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much, Jackie and John. I appreciate that. Those are nice. I'll use them. It's a good size. And uh, John, uh, happy birthday to you, and uh, keep that wife happy. So uh, see you later.